If you fly over the Great Salt Lake, you see that the north half is uh, pink or red, and that's uh, due to different uh, types of bacteria, as opposed to the uh, bacteria and algae, where the south arm is, uh, appears blue. Because the culverts were closed for safety reasons, we don't get either direction of flow. The way things are now, there's salt accumulated in the north part at the expense of the south part. And so with a new bridge, it will uh, bring more equilibrium back. Saline lakes are, are unique because everything that goes into them basically stays there. Within the water, you have the brine shrimp, when it isn't too salty, we have a competitor there that's called Corixids that uh, actually will prey on the brine shrimp. In other areas, it's just a goopy mud. And in other areas, we have what we call bioherms, structures that are formed on the bottom of the lake by algae. And they're kind of like big mushrooms or toadstools.